Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at a new text-to-speech speech model named Office 3B. It's a new model that has been released, which is really emotive in nature. So it has different emotions and very realistic in a way that can generate human-like speech, you know, from your text prompt. Very similar to, you know, how this entire ecosystem, you know, that was, that was, that was basically built upon models like uh, uh, Suno Bark, right? We saw Bark as the model that came up first. And after that, we saw a lot of text-to-speech models uh, that were really that were really generating uh, realistic uh, speech for you. Now we have a new model, Office 3B by Canopy Labs. And that's really interesting. And that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, I'm on their Hugging Face uh, uh, model page. It says Canopy Labs Office. I think that's how we pronunciate it. Uh, probably yeah, because I think R will be silent here, but I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll see. It's a uh, they have two different things here: a pre-trained and then a further fine-tuned model on top of it. Uh, it's zero sort voice cloning, so you do not have to, you know, if uh, you do not have to like provide a lot of samples. You know, if you want to do voice cloning on top of it, you can clone your voice, you know, with just a, a just like by giving even one sample or without it zero sort, right? It, that's good. Now, it's natural. It's really natural uh, in a way. And it has some emotions like you can add uh, tokens, you know, basically characters or characteristics. Uh, if I say it in a better way that you have like, for example, laugh or chuckles, you know, or stop or whatever, right? You can provide those kind of things. You can see it says high quality, empathetic text to speech generation model. Uh, it has been further fine tuned on the pre-trained model. And it has a way to control, you know, intonation, which is very difficult, you know, to work with when you work with sound data, right? Uh, uh, the, the sound based audio data that you worked, it's very difficult to train those kind of models where it's where the model can control the uh, intonation, right? When they're generating uh, the speeches. Now that's also it provides and it's trained on 100k hours of audio files. That's, that's amazing. So it has a good data set that they have used to train this. And it has a way to also stream the outputs and uh, as the input as well. So it can also do that. And latency is fantastic. If you see here, it says 100 milliseconds. You know, if you are on a 100 GPU, that's what I'm running here. And I'll show you that. Okay. And uh, easy to fine tune. The code is available. So if you come here, you can see the fine tune, fine -tune thingy here. Uh, you can see config and train.py. So if you have your own data, right, you can also use train these kind of models. If you look at here, go to pre-train and pre-train is fantastic. Let me make this a bit smaller. So you can see if we find that trying to keep good semantic understanding of text boost the model's ability when speaking naturally and empathetically, right? So they have shown how you can use these libraries and these uh, this thing. If you have a good data set to train it, you can also do that. That will be generative uh, speech output that you can train uh, if you have that text to speech data with you. Now, the fantastic thing about this model of US 3B that it's really small in size, of course, 3 billion parameters. You can see almost 3.78 and it's Apache 2.0. So you can use this model you know, to build your products. If you're working on some kind of products, if you need these kind of open source models to work with, you can also do that, right? That's, that's fantastic. Now, uh, first of all, credits to Canopy Labs for you know doing doing this and making it available for the open source AI ecosystem. Now they have given a collab notebook, so I'm not making any lot of changes here. And I'm already running it over here. You need you need Snack and IPY WebRTC. You know if you need streaming and all WebRTC is re required. You know and make sure that you have this. It's a it's a it's a restricted model, so you have to like it's a gated model. So you first have to uh accept their terms and condition to use it now if you come down okay uh, let me come down and you can see these are the prompts of course the model has been loaded and uh tokenizer you can see it over here i think we can also do that gpu we'll see that uh if you look at here right uh it says hello hey there my name is tara let me let me change this i'm gonna say hey Create, uh, create and no, not create. Hi, 
I am AI anytime virtual avatar. And I'm gonna say you can remove chuckle and you can write laugh. These are the characteristics that you can add. And if you come down on their GitHub repository, they have shown these uh, these things that they have mentioned. If you look at, uh, let me show you that quickly. Yeah, if you look at here, these are tags that you can use: laugh, chuckle, see, cuff, sniffle, and yawn. And you know you can do these kind of thingy. So I'm gonna write laugh, and I am. Uh, I'll just get rid of this. I want to show you something here and. I am here to help you navigate the videos on on the channel. Now imagine if you want to create uh, an avatar for you, you know, where you want to give the avatar a voice and you can generate those kind of audios using these things, right? Now it has different voices that you can also use. Now you can see the voices over here, right? Uh, it says Tara, Leah, Jess, Leo, Dan, Mia, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's keep Tara as default. And if you run this, okay, I'm gonna run it and you can see, or oh, did I run it? Okay, this one. Now we can also change it, I think on a, I'm, I'm connected on a hundred GPU. You can see it here on top. I have Colab Pro access to work with. If you don't have this works on CPU as well, but that takes a lot of time. As you can see, it's taking a bit of time here. Now, once that is done, uh, we will see it. But if you want to, Further fine tune, you can use this, come here and use it. And you can also look at real time stream, streaming example. Uh, you can find it out. They have client.html where you know you can use this thing to do this in browser, right? And find out if how, how good it is working. So you can also have a look at that. Uh, look at here, enter host name, base URL. Okay, let's go back to real time streaming example, go to main.py. Probably that runs as a Flask application, a Flask service. Yeah, you can see it over here, right? Now, if I come down here, let me see. It has a route called TTS. Uh, looks like you forgot to provide a prompt. And this works on this, right? Fantastic. I think we can also do that. You know, we can probably in the next video, we can create an application uh, using Office text to speech that can do real time streaming, uh, right? Generate the generate that now that is done so let's come here and let's just display the audio so let me just scroll down a little bit i had created a video on uh kokuru as well if i'm not wrong that was the that was the model let me see which was the i forgot so many models have come out guys recently it's very difficult to keep a track of uh of the models that we are working with right nowadays but uh let me see that yeah, Kokoru 82 million text to speech model. But that was a huge uh, advancement because the model size was really, really small. So, uh, you know, uh, I created a video on that. Have a look at that in, uh, I'll give that link in description. Alongside, alongside this, you can see. Now let me play this so you can understand better. Hi, I am AI Anytime Virtual Avatar. And I'm here to help you navigate the videos on channel. Yeah, you could see it, it created that. Let's also play this. I've also been taught to understand and produce paralinguistic things like sighing or chuckling or yawning. <laughs> okay. I live in San Francisco and have, um, let's see, 3 billion 700. Well, let's just say a lot of parameters. That's, that's, that's really realistic right i mean people work with 11 labs and those voices right or or if you're working on voice based agents on wapi or live kit or wherever right you can in, in use these kind of models as well if you have the infra uh but let me know what what your views on this model of yours 3b of yours 3b model uh what's do you think it's better than kokoru model you know that's that's the video that i created recently and uh also, we can try it out the real time streaming one that if you look at here on the GitHub come down, you know, here on the real time streaming example, you can also have a look at here as well, you know, uh, on this, how we can build it. So let me know if you have any thoughts or feedbacks or questions in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels, find those information on channel banner and channel about us. I hope you like the video and learn something. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. 
that's all for this office video you know uh thank you so much for watching see you in the next one